hello friends welcome to my channel today I am going to show you how to migrate DSCP server from Windows Server 2003 machine to Windows Server 2012 machine let's have some idea about my demo environment in this demo I have two machines first one is Win2K3 DSCP01 the operating system installed on this machine is Windows Server 2003 R2 the IP address for this machine is 192.168.1.253 and currently DSCP server is running on this server and I am going to migrate this DSCP server to my new DSCP server that is Win2K12 DSCP0T and operating system installed on this server is Windows Server 2012 R2 the IP address for this machine is 192.168.1.252 so DSCP server need to migrate on this server for just for your information I have one domain controller in place in my environment that is holding domain controller active directory role and DNS role. So this is my first server that is Win2K3 DSCP server 01. This is currently acting as a DSCP server in my network. So here is my DSCP server console. This is my scope and this is my lease for clients and I am going to take one fake reservation so we can verify fake res reservation is also migrated from the DSCP server migration okay so add and here's my reservation that is added so minimize this and this is my Windows Server 2012 machine where I am going to migrate my old DSCP server role to this DSCP server. So, also I have one Windows 7 client to verify IP address setting from DSCP server. It's currently taking IP address from our old DSCP server that is Windows Server 2003 based you can verify IP address for this machine is 253 the DSCP server and my old DSCP server IP is 153 so let's move to the commands so DSCP server migration is safe first we need to install DSCP role on Win2K12 DSCP server from add roles I am on Windows Server 2012 machine this is my server manager dashboard I am going to click on manage add roles and features and I am going to click next installation type next the server selection is ok it's my server next I'm going to take DSCP server and it's going to install tool also so add features click next next DSCP server and click next confirmation installation selection so I'm going to click on install installation is running we can verify IP address for this machine is 192.168.1.252 so I'm just going on a screen of the installation installation is started on the host name In the meantime, I am going to create one folder in my old DSCP server. I am going to give the name of backup folder and I am going to share this folder 
with everyone also I am going to say with DSCP server DSCP admin account with the full permission that is for accessing this folder on my new DSCP server so it's installing the features we can verify installation success but configuration required so I am going to click on complete DSCP configuration and it's just asking for administrator account for the DSCP server to authorize this DSCP server in my active directory so I am going to same account that I have logged in in my DSCP server is DSCP admin so I am going to just click on commit so creating security group done authorizing DSCP server done so everything seems like done successfully so now I am going to open my DSCP server console here is my DSCP server console where you can verify I have n nothing in DSCP server settings actually so I'm going on my old DSCP server and just opening the command prompt and I'm going to type command to back up my DSCP server settings and database and save at this location D drive backup folder command for taking backup for DSCP server is net sh dhcp server export I'm going to give path of my DSCP database d slash backup I'm going to give file name for DSCP backup file DSCP file db dot text and I am going to export all setting for my DSCP server and click enter so it's we can see here is fun file created with the DSCP file db dot text and it's showing me command completed successfully so my backup setting for my DSCP server is generated successfully at location now I am going on my new DSCP server I am going to open command prompt on this server as well as and first I need to copy DSCP server backup from my old DSCP server sorry it's one and here is the file I'm going to copy this file to my local machine paste and close it and now I'm going to restore or you can say import my DSCP server setting from that file the command from importing is DSCP net ss DSCP server import d colon path of the file and the path of the file is d drive and just exactly type the same part DSCP file db dot text and I'm going to use all commands I 
and here's the message command completed successfully so I am going on TCP console once more time and just click on refresh button we can verify we have migrated all the setting from my old server to new server and now I am going to disable my old DSCP server from the network or just shut down the old DSCP server so it's no more connected with your network and seems everything done successful so I am going on my Windows 7 machine to check now it's taking IP address from the new server or not it's showing me the old server IP address so I am just going to click on diagnose button so it will take few seconds it's actually resetting the network setting for the adapter it's showing reset the local area connection adapter so I think now it's done we can verify it's taking IP address from our new DSCP server that is 192.168.2.252 so we have first exported the DSCP server full database with the netsh command then we are just copied the DSCP export file on the new DSCP server and last step is I have imported the DSCP server database on my new DSCP server so it's everything done and you can verify everything seems good so cancel it no problem thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos thanks once again